Hi everybody, um, it is the 19th of November 2019 and console update 5.2 has just dropped to the test server. I will be doing a full de full video on the patch notes very very soon. Oh man, but I've got to show you this. Um, so, battle stat weapons. We've had a few in the survivor passage. We've had two so far. I think the AWM and the, uh, I think in the current one it's the Grozer. So the idea is you have a gun and on the side of the gun is a counter. And as you kill people with a gun, that counter goes up, you know, for the lifetime, you know, so you're building up. So it's quite a cool thing to do. It's been done pretty well in other games like Call of Duty and other games that have battle stat guns. The ones in PUBG, the AWM one, <laughs> would kind of be... They're, all, they're kind of okay, however the counter is a little bit like an old speedo uh, counter, a mileometer counter in a car, or a gas, old gas meter counter. You know, it's not very futuristic, or they look a bit naff. However, with the new update, you're going to be able to not just work your way through an entire battle pass to earn a battle stat skin for your guns. You can buy them or earn them with, um, with BP, but there's a problem. And this is this video also is kind of aimed at you know PUBG Corp and say, come on guys, we can do better than this. So here we go. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't believe, I can't believe this. So weapon skins, here they are. The battle stat skins. But look at the colour. I mean honestly, do you I mean you can see that the counter's a bit you know, it's a bit basic, isn't it? It looks like an old uh, gas meter, electricity meter um, counter. Um, but that colour, do you really want to be running around with a bright blue turquoisey gun um, in Sandhawk? Actually, it might be alright in Sandhawk because of the green, but on Miramar. I know I don't. That is um, terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible colour. Why did they choose this colour? I mean, these are expensive. I mean, if they're in the full game, um, so 68,000 battle points for a skin, say for the Vector, I'd probably, I wouldn't mind the one for the Vector, so I get lots of kills with the Vector. But it looks like this, this shop isn't really working properly. I can't, can I select it? You're right, okay, so. Yeah, um, 63,000 battle points. That's a lot of battle points to earn. But if you play PUBG a lot, you'll probably have hundreds of thousands of battle points. So it does mean that you can get them for free um, without having to buy extra uh, BP. If you can even buy extra BP. Um, but that colour, man. Oh, God, that is terrible. So come on, PUBG, make your skins better. Please make them better. You know, we want battle stats, but... You know, we want the battle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flick over to some of the skins in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 to show you the sort of skins that PUBG should be using. So PUBG, if you're watching this, this is what you should be doing. So let's go over to Modern Warfare and see what they've done with some of their skins. Okay, so let's. This is Modern Warfare 2019. Let's go in and look at sort of the skin. So these are the skins I would want um, in in PUBG for my Battlestar gun, right? Look at these skins. They're nice and subtle. Most importantly, they're camouflage based skins. You know? So they kind of blend in a little bit. But they can be. Cause some of them are quite interesting. Without being ga garish. I mean, that. okay, that one is. <laughs> some of these are. But look at that, look at that nice, you know, it's nice and subtle, but it is, it is a good way of individualising your gun. And imagine if that had a nice little counter on there. Oh, th these are quite cool, actually. Look at these ones. You know, it's, a, it's an interesting design. That's, pr that's probably the most garish one you can probably get. But even that, you know, it's a dark red. Uh, even the, the, the simplest ones you unlocked straight away. Even things like this, you know. You know, that's a really nice, simple skin. That's what they should be doing. PUBG, if you're listening, this is what you need to be doing with your 
with your skins for your gun. Make them camouflage based. I think they're far too influenced by the mobile PUBG, you know, with the bright colours, because on a mobile screen where it's so small, you probably need those bright colours to kind of encourage people to buy the guns. But we've got big, massive screens we play PUBG on. You know, subtlety is the word. Anyway, that's enough for me. Look out for a full video about the patch notes, about the uh, changes coming to um, uh, 5.2 on the PTS and the public server. Uh, pretty soon. Put your questions and comments down below. Do you think you'll run around with one of those battle stacks against guns? I know I definitely won't. <laughs> anyway, that's enough for me. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.